Well, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in on this Thursday night, Thursday evening, March 19th, 2020. Uh, about 9 p.m. West Coast time here in California, and earthquake activity still continuing. Uh, a little bit on the uh, moderate side out here on the other side of the world this evening. Quite a bit of activity occurring through China and also a more recent earthquake, a 5.5 up there in Mongolia. Uh, the one down here in China, 5.7, did not strike in a heavily populated area, which is good uh, because that area over there, heavily populated, right? The Chinese uh, or the, the country over there. 10 kilometers below the surface, so that definitely uh, produced a good shake over there. Not a major, not a super major quake, but I would call that a major quake for that area. Also up to the north there, a 5.5 striking in Mongolia at 10 kilometers as well. Um, and also over here to the west, further to the west, um, a lot of activity taking place in a strange area. You know, we just don't see clusters of quakes like that. Uh, that one there is striking in Kai... <laughs> Kai Jagristan? Okay, I'm, uh, I'm... I see that wording. I just can't pronounce those type of words. Or a couple others. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at a different view of the map here. A USGS map here. One day, magnitude 2.5 and above. The flat earth scale once again there for you flat earthers. Uh, it's looking, like I said, pretty active out there in this part of the world you uh let's zoom in here to the china region um and you can see just uh, a pretty good what do we got here one two three four four good sized earthquake five good sized earthquakes here uh the one down here in china taking place outside of a heavily populated area although the shake map and the intensity map does show it in the uh yellow for pager orange for the uh shake map so pretty good shake out there but uh, luckily it was not in a super heavily populated area uh, the one up here in Mongolia let's see where that one went to it's way up here 5.5 the most recent quake in this area um, pager green shake map in the yellow uh, this one here kind of looks like it take, took place out here in the mountainous areas of Mongolia area uh, we can bring it down here to the satellite view take a look and see what's out there just for the heck of it uh, let's see here, there we go. So the orange circle there indicating the 5.5 that took place there, 10 kilometers below surface. Mm, I don't, I'm not seeing any type of uh, heavily populated regions out there. Looks like a lot of desert, man. Maybe, probably some small communities. It looks like maybe a network of roads out there. Um, I don't see any type of volcanic domes or any type of uh those look like mudslides or something down there let's see here oh, we got little butte a couple little buttes up here it looks like uh, interesting little features out there anyway no population that i can tell out there maybe it might be a couple small maybe houses out there maybe some small villages away from the epicenter but uh nothing nothing major uh, no major cities out there in that region of the world and like i said it's pretty active out there on this this part let's back out of here just a tad bit and uh well i don't want to go with that view too much let's bring this back here um terrain yes 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 so pretty active folks um the movement, though, it looks as though it's pretty much confined over here in this center of the screen. Quite a bit uh, off the Pacific Ring of Fire. No major deep quakes, it looks like. Uh, let me go back to the globe and see if I can uh, put that back into view here. Give me a little bit more detail. <clears throat> kind of like to use the globe to observe deep earthquakes and kind of gives you a little bit better uh, actually there was a deep earthquake right there uh, 4.0 uh, just south of japan right here in the blue flag that earthquake striking at 494 kilometers below surface um, yeah 
Wow. So yesterday when we were having all that earthquake activity out here in Salt Lake City, which by the way is still kind of rumbling, having a little bit of aftershock activity, not as intense, but we'll take a look at that here in just a minute. Um, yeah, compared to yesterday, this part of the world is pretty active. Um, of course, I've always seen it bounce back and forth. This area here can be super quiet over here on the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire and over here in the Europe and Asia. And um, and then next thing you know, North America and South America over here, pretty active. It's all a big giant jigsaw puzzle. I keep saying that because it is. You move one portion of the plate and it will affect, no doubt, something thousands of miles away on the other side of the world. It's a known fact. Uh, Puerto Rico looks as though it's up on the swarming again. I know it hasn't really ever went away, but it does look like it may be making a comeback in a, a little small fashion. Nothing major, but uh, any kind of swarms like that, it's pretty noticeable. A little bit of earthquake activity out there around El Paso, Texas, it looks like. We're just north of there. Uh, a couple twos popping off. I'm guessing that's around uh, Pecos, Texas. Let's see here. Because that's where we've seen earthquake activity before. Well, this one's 70 kilometers west of Mentone, Mentone Texas. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Never actually heard of it. But uh, they're not... Uh, let's see here... They're not uh, any super big stranger to earthquakes out there. Uh, now, if they start getting into the fours and fives, then we start to wonder what the heck is going on. But the couple twos there is pretty normal. Um, I'd say every other week or so, maybe maybe a couple times a month at that. So, uh, not a big worry out there in that part of the world. Hawaii's seen there a little bit of little bit of earthquake activity, 3.9. There on the, uh, let's see exactly where that's at, uh, Pahali, Hawaii, about seven kilometers west-northwest of there, at about 0.1 kilometers below surface. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, not really going to check into that too much, but it looks like quite a few people felt it out there. Um, so yeah, it's just a pretty active day, folks, along with everything else going on in the world. It's... Uh, a lot of strange earthquakes going on out there. So, anyway, we're going to keep this one a little short. I uh, hope everyone out there is having a good night. We're going to do a little bit of chatting here after this update video on the live stream. So, come on over if you want to hang out and uh, chat. In the meantime, have a good night. And uh, we'll chat at you guys a little bit later. Live data out here 24-7 on the channel. Um, yeah, so have a good night, everyone. Stay safe. Peace.